Hi, my name is Dr. Bramsick and I'm a biological dentist in Heath, Texas. I would like to discuss with you today what is biological dentistry and what do biological dentists, how do they practice? And one of the things that we appreciate is that dental materials can be very hazardous. So we use the latest technologies to reduce the patient's exposure and our exposure to those. Now the hot topic is mercury amalgam fillings. We take those very seriously. It's a very toxic substance. And one of the things that we do, we place our patients on 100% medical grade oxygen. And we also use a rubber dam, a cleanup tip, an isolite. We use a vacuum, we use an ionizer, and several other things to protect our patient. In addition to that, the staff uses respirator masks. Now we do not use fluoride in our office. Fluoride is very toxic as well. It's a neurotoxin. Instead of using fluoride, we use MI paste. MI paste can actually re, um, remineralize the enamel in the patient's teeth. If we have patients that have a number of cavities, then they can try using Lugol's iodine, 2%. It's iodine, iodide. They can just use one drop of this every few months, fresh with that. Again, we do not use heavy metals in our office. We use restorations that are made of either zirconia or porcelain. Our filling material is composed of organic particles and it does not contain fluoride. The product that we use is called, it's made by Boco called Grandioso and it was actually tested by Clifford Institute and this is actually a letter from them. It is biocompatible with 99% of patients. We realized that uh, the, part of, or the, the materials that we use in our practice can affect biological systems, so we always try to use non-toxic products. We also use ozone in our office. This is our ozone machine. We ozonate our water every morning, so the water that's coming out of the hand piece and that we use in our Catatron for the deep cleanings is always ozonated. A couple of other products that we use is colloidal silver. This can be used for any kind of infection. We use it topically. It can be used for any gum infection, any kind of periodontal disease. It can be used on aphthous ulcers, uh, canker sores, or on cold sores. Another product that we use is ozonated olive oil, and you can use this for the same purposes as you use colloidal silver. Thank you so much for your time, and please click on Learn More to learn more about our practice. Thank you.